Hello everyone, Katherine Keller here. Today we are talking about the cover photos on your Facebook pages and we are covering this because it is keeping me awake at night with the massive amounts of people who are violating Facebook and corporate rules on their cover photos. So I'm going to talk to you about what you can't do, all the rules, uh, why Facebook has all these rules, and then we're going to learn how to break them. So, uh, first thing, the cover photo, when, when I talk with you guys about your websites and blog, we always put up a rotating banner. That's why we're here on the Chumkuga Designs website, which is under construction, and I thank you guys so much for being so patient with me while we are working on converting all the information over and everything. I have a new person coming on board next week or so and um, he is as neurotic and OCD as I am so God help us all. But we should be getting some more information up and, and changing things up more quickly. Um, the, the banner is is the same as the cover photo, this rotating banner, in the sense that this is your prominent piece of information. This is a prime real estate property here on your Facebook page or on your blog. And this is where people's eyes go first. So that is why on Facebook, people are tr trying their hardest to get uh, a, a, all this information in front of their people as soon as they... they view the timeline but they're violating all sorts of rules and, and Facebook will shut you down they 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 have no problem doing that because it's not meant to be an advertisement that's not what Facebook wants you using it for however I do so let's see how to do that first of all let's go over what you can't do what they don't want you to do and these are some major problems that people are having in the sense that they're putting up products which is great you can put up a product but um, I have some people that I've seen uh, the, the photo says in stock now ask me for more information it'll have 25 percent off this month you can't have any product information you can have a picture of your product but you cannot have any product information on your cover photo you can't have any contact information I've seen websites put on cover photos um, email addresses no phone numbers no mailing addresses no way for them to con you can't even put look below for more contact information because that's going to violate one of the rules we're going to talk about in a second. No references to user interface elements like like or share. Therefore, you cannot use an arrow to point to the like button. Um, you can't use anything to point to the share button. You can't ask them to like you or to share because that violates number four, which is a call to action. And that is the one that I see the most frequently. Anytime you ask your viewer to do anything, it is a call to action. If you ask them to like you, if they ask, if you ask them to click on here for more information, if they if you ask them to visit a website, you are asking them to do something. It is a call to action and it is a violation. Now, when I'm working with uh, my clients, I'm going to tell you up front, probably 80 to 85% of them are either violating one of these rules right here. And if they're not violating one of those rules, they're violating corporate rules. So don't forget, you have two people you have to be compliant with on your um, on your cover photo. Keep that in mind. Now, people like Lowe's, they have um, they have a team of media, social media people that work just constantly on their social media. That's their whole focus. And yet, even Lowe's is violating Facebook rules. So don't feel bad if you are one of those people <laughs> that are violating Facebook rules on your cover photo because right here you can see click for more info with a little arrow there. That is a call to action. They are asking us to do something, which is a no-no. Now, 
Granted, they have 1.1 million fans, so I'm thinking Facebook might think twice before they just shut down Lowe's corporate account, but no offense to you, I don't know how many fans or likes you have, but unless you have 1.1 million, let's play it safe and let's just not violate any Facebook rules. However, I really like what they were trying to accomplish here, so I wanted to take this and show you how you can make it work for you and make it work um, while being in compliance. So we're going to go over to the Chumkubo Designs Facebook page now. And we have, um, what we've done, we've brought in several of our pins from our Pinterest page because that's what Lowe's was trying to do, get people to go over to their their Pinterest uh, page and check out what's going on there. But as you can see, we took out the click here because that's a call to action. And instead we put, just left it, our top pins on Pinterest. And then I added the graphic of the little finger there. And um, with my text, I put it in italics and I underlined it so it does look like a link. And people psychologically with this finger here automatically think, link plus I've curled the the page here so all of this looks like they can click on a link however it is not violating any rules I haven't asked you to do anything I haven't given out any websites any links um, anything like that so it's just what that little corner do is doing is it's psychologically telling people click here for more information even though we're not saying click here for more information. Now if you were anybody but me visiting this page, you could just click on that picture and it'll take you to the photo. Um, because I'm an administrator, I have to kind of take a roundabout way here to pull it up for you. Okay, so this is what would happen if they click on that little icon there, it would bring up their photo within their Facebook page. Now, there are no rules on your descriptions for your pictures. You can put hyperlinks until your little heart is happy right over here. Um, so what I've done, view our Pinterest boards at, I have a hyperlink. I've broken it down even because I have clients in various industries from makeup to fitness to fit uh, fashion, um, my party gals girls here for romance. So I've broke down each one. This will take them to each individual board. A lot of my cover photos I always um, or most of my cover photos, I have a subscription here where they can click to um, to join my newsletter. I've also here what this is an interesting um, concept shared by Mari Smith because what I can do is I can tag some of these people in here and that gets them interacting. I've encouraged them here to tag themselves. Um, so you're getting people to click, you're getting people to come to this page uh, which is not a violation. So I was going to pull up some bad examples of cover photos, but I didn't want to throw anybody under the bus. So I'm going to show you what we're working on. And with Chimkubo Designs, we're switching over, uh, not switching over, we are adding, I should say, cover photos to our list of products. So uh, especially for those of you that are getting our newsletter service each month, you may want to consider giving getting the cover photo service of each month and getting two new cover photos. People ask me all the time, um, I'm sorry, I didn't finish that sentence. <laughs> I'll slow down now. Uh, two cover photos a month, two brand new cover photos a month. People ask me all the time, how often should I switch up my cover photo? Um, and I say you can do it as often as once a day. You could do it once a week, but make sure you are updating it because when you have these cover photos um, and it's the same one month after month after month, it's it's it looks like nobody's home. It, it it's like when you drive by a neighborhood and the grass has grown up to the windows, the blinds are cold closed and then there's mail coming out of the mailbox like you just nobody's home switch it up make it interesting make it unique so that they know when they come to your page they're going to find something maybe a little bit different each time and um, with our program we send out two cover uh, photos to our our subscribers um, once a month they get two photos and it, it, it goes along the same lines of what's going on in the newsletter so you can kind of keep consistent with the graphics and it also makes sure that you're compliant so um, this the party gals girls are going to get a sneak peek of what their newsletter 
is uh, going to look like for next month, one of their newsletters. But I wanted to show you um, if you could do a pop quiz here and just take a look at this and see what you think might be violating this uh, this cover photo, what it might be violating. Don't you love, I, I love my job. <laughs> I get to look at graphics like this all day. All right, so um, basically this is not violating any Facebook rules. I can even pop this little hand back in here um, and move it around like we did on the other one. But this is not violating any Facebook rules. What rule this is violating is this is violating an industry, a corporate rule, because I have the Party Gals logo. It doesn't matter if you're in Beachbody, Mary Kay, um, Enchantment, uh, whatever industry you're in, you have got to have this independent distributor underneath a logo if you're going to use a logo. So this makes this page absolutely acceptable for both Facebook and the corporate account. Um, there's no call to actions. There's no website information being given out. And what we would do is for uh, these party gals, when they get their cover photo and they upload it to their Facebook page, in the description, they're going to put a link to this part of their website in the description. Um, or talk about, they can even in the description put, put links to specific products. Um, they can put a link to the Father's Day newsletter, which is what we're getting ready to put out. So there's a lot of different options here. Um, underneath this video, I'm going to make sure we have a tell a friend link. So if you have a unit, um, if you're a team leader, Definitely think about clicking on that link and sharing this with your unit. It'll bring up uh, options to email to all of the people that you want to email it to. Also, um, I'm going to make sure that we include a link below. We'll try to get our, our Facebook cover photo product information up on our website, and I'll make sure that there's a link to that as well. But if you have any questions, as always, you, you guys know you can find me on Facebook and just shoot me an email there, or um, shoot me an email at katherine at chumkubo.com. All right, thanks uh, for joining, and we will see you soon.